Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical here tonight with another review for you. Uh, I've been pumping out some videos lately. Hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, this, by the title and clearly from the picture, you can tell this is the, uh, the Black Spider Optic by Spikes Tactical. Um, Black Spider Optics is kind of a sister company of Spikes Tactical, but nonetheless, it is basically one in the same thing. You can see that the Spikes Tactical logo, the spider, is presented on the box. Um, a lot of the lettering, the font that they use is the same that Spikes Tactical uses. And these have been out for a while. These have been out for a little while, um, but still a relatively new optic. Um, a lot of people don't give them a lot of attention because it is a lower uh, priced optic. It's not your aim points or your EOTex or your Trigicons or anything like that. Um, but in my opinion and from everything that I've seen so far, this is the best optic for the money. I paid about 150 bucks for this before shipping and all that stuff from Optics Planet. And it is the best deal you can find out there. I was looking at some Hollow Suns or some Holo Suns or whatever they're called. Those look really nice too. They got a lot of positive reviews. But I like Spikes Tactical. I like their rifles. I like the, the stuff they put out for the ARs. And I figured this would be a great addition to my new Smith & Wesson M&P Sport 2. Um, so I picked it up. I've been looking at these for a while. I've watched a few reviews. The one... Um, that a regular guy did from the regular guy firearms channel was really really dope uh, he put this through a variety of tests banging it against a tree uh, soaking it throwing it in, in in a pond and soaking it it actually filled up with water because after he banged it on a tree um, I mean he was hitting it pretty hard and it, it messed it up a little bit but that's not going to be a realistic scenario. You're not just going to take your optic and bang it against a tree. But he did a pretty decent torture test on it, and it held up well. It, the optic stayed on. It stayed zeroed. And uh, that's what I like to see. And for 150 bucks from a very reputable company, um, I think that's great. So I went ahead and I invested in one. And I'm going to get into the specs here. We're going to unbox it. Of course, I've already unboxed it, checked it over. And... Uh, took the liberty of installing the battery already it comes with the battery it comes separately but I already put it in the optic to check for function and we'll go over that so first you get a nice cardboard box I do like the presentation uh, it's real slick it's got you know the spikes logo and black spider optics here's just it's the model m0129 red dot it's a 3 MOA reticle so it's not the sharpest or the finest, precise, most precise dot, but it's definitely more than good enough for CQB or out. You know, you could hit easily, you know, three, four hundred yards, especially with an AR-15, and it's parallax free at 50 meters. So that's nice. Um, 2014, I believe that's that's when they uh, came out, and here goes the unboxing. So you're going to have a nice little foam uh, piece on top, followed by the included lens wipe. It's a little microfiber towel, lens cleaning uh, towel. It's, it, it's decent. It's nice. They give it to you free. I like that. Uh, it's going to be housed in this foam, this little foam cutout housing, which is really nice. You're going to get the optic inside. There's going to be a loose battery. I, like I said, I already took it out, installed it into the optic. You get your little uh, moisture packet. They give you the tool. The uh, I think it's a Torx Star Key uh, that's needed to install it to the rifle. Uh, it matches the hardware on the mount because this optic actually already does come with a mount and it's actually quite a nice one. And you're going to get your paperwork here. This is a pretty basic owner's manual, but it's simple. And I read through it real quick, and it's just real easy to pick up on if you know nothing about optics or anything like this, if you're brand new to it. So it does give you a good explanation. It's got a lot of nice features. You can see this. Um, there, Finally, this thing's going to focus, huh? Nice. So you guys could pause the screen, look at it if you want, but you can clearly see 
you know, the specs on that uh, pretty decent, especially for a $150 optic and especially by a very reputable company that's been around producing a lot of stuff, a lot of great stuff. Um, now they got Mookie as their rep. I think that was a great move on Spike's part. And uh, I just, I really like Spike's and everything they, they put out. So that's that's pretty much the little swag that comes with it. The uh, the cleaning cloth, the lens cloth. Uh, nice presentation box, like I said. Real simple owner's manual. And uh, the, the tool for the optic. So I was going to knock this review out. It's not really a review because I have not even mounted this to my rifle yet. Um, took it out of the box, played with it a little bit. But this is this is a first look, first impression, a little bit of some specs and some features. And uh, I will definitely update you guys, give you guys some shooting vids of me actually using the optic. And uh, we'll go from there. So this is how it's going to come out of the plastic, minus the battery already being installed. I did that. Um, this is the optic. It's, it's very much aim point looking. And I like that a lot. This is your battery compartment. It holds one AAA battery, which I like. It's a very common battery. They're inexpensive compared to CR123, you know, or, or watch batteries, that kind of thing. Um, you've got your turret, I believe, for... Uh, this one's either windage or elevation. Let me see. I know, I'm looking like a noob right now, but I haven't even... I haven't even really messed with it that far so all right so that is elevation so the top the top turret is going to be for elevation adjustment and the side turret is going to be for windage i should have figured that's pretty intuitive but uh some some are different so i just wanted to make sure so it's going to come like that it's got some nice uh bikini cap scope covers um it's good for safe storage and stuff like that but other than that, I'm not going to use these. I'm only going to probably put them on if I'm putting the rifle up for a while. But me and how much I shoot, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, it's really, really tough uh, grade aluminum that the body's built out of. The mount itself here is a billet mount. It's completely billet, and it's a nice mount. It does detach from the optic itself. But as of now, it's proprietary the way that it mounts. So this will be the only mount as of now that you can use with this reticle. Which I don't mind. It's a nice looking mount. It's, it seems a very good quality. This is your mounting system. Um, you're going to back out these screws to loosen it up. Affix it to the rifle where you fit, where you see fit. Tighten it back down. I would definitely Loctite it. Loctite all the screws on important things like that. And uh, it is serialized. And other than that, it's pretty simple. You'll see the front of the optic does have that. Uh, that's pretty clear too. It does have uh, a reddish tint to it. Red, yellow. You know, it's a multicolor tint. But then from the rear, you can, you can definitely tell there is a, a slight hint of the color looking through it. Um, but it, it's really not that big of a deal. And this is pretty much with most uh, red dot sights. So here's your power button. And then here's your brightness and your dimming settings. One thing that's super nice about this optic is that it has this um, ambient light sensor. So it actually has a mode, as soon as you hit the power button once, you'll see the dot is now on. And it actually, the first, when you hit it once to turn it on, all the time, no matter what, it's going to be on auto mode. So this light sensor picks up the ambient light in the room, outside, wherever you may be, and it adjusts the brightness automatically according to how much light there is so if it's brighter out you're gonna have a brighter dot if it's not as bright or it's dark you're gonna have a dimmer dot so it doesn't completely obscure your sight picture and that I think is really freaking dope I don't know of any other optic that has that I'm sure there might be some now but none that I've followed none that I've seen um, 
that's a really really nice feature especially on an optic that cost 150 bucks if you want to go into manual mode you're going to hit the button again hit the power button again and then you'll be able to either dim or brighten up the optic so you could dim it down Well, you can't really. I guess it's not going to come through that great. Yeah, you could dim it down. And then you could brighten it back up. And it gets pretty bright. Um, if I do say so myself. Yeah, that, that's pretty bright. And then you could dim it back down. You know, as much as you need to. That's a that's a really nice fine focus dot for when, you know, your CQB indoors, it's dark, whatever it may be. And if you do shut the optic off, no matter what setting you have it, it will remember. And the next time you turn it on, it will be in in that setting. And then if you switch over, you could switch back by hitting the power button again. And it will go back into the automatic mode, which senses the ambient light. Um, I think that's great because it does it automatically without you having to think about it. You don't have time. If you were in a real-life self-defense encounter, you don't have time to be messing around with your optic and, oh, let me, it's too bright, it's too dim. It may not be the most accurate, but it's going to do it good enough, in my opinion, to get the job done and to not blow out your sight picture or be too dim that you can't pick up the dot. So I really, really do like this optic. I'm really loving it so far. Um, in order to shut it off, you're going to press the power button and hold it until the dot disappears, and then it's off. Again, turn it back on, and, and you're right back to the last mode. Um, and, and again, you know, the automatic is what it's always going to be on. When you turn it on from off, and then if you do have it in manual, you know, it's going to remember. So there it goes back to automatic, and then I switch it over to manual, and it remembered. And you can tell the, the difference in light and uh, how it's that much dimmer. So I really do like this. Um, one thing I do not technically like um, is it has a two-hour automatic shutoff. So after two hours of this optic being on, it's going to shut itself off to conserve battery. Technically, that's a good feature. Triple A's don't last as long as, as the watch batteries can, or maybe a CR-123 or whatever it may be. So it does help conserve battery, especially if you forgot it on, you're at the range, you're not even using it. Or, you know, if you put it in your safe and, you know, you didn't want it just constantly running because this is not an aim point and it will not run for five years straight. I don't exactly know what the battery life is in hours um, for, for this optic. I've looked around. I couldn't find any any information on that. I'm sure it might be out there. Um, but there's no way to test it consecutively because it does have the automatic shutoff feature. Um I'm sure it's a relatively decent amount of time, but at the same time, it, it does have that two-hour shutoff. So, you know, worst thing comes to worse, you just tap the power button real quick, and it will turn itself back on, and it'll be an auto. And then if you did have the time or the need to adjust it, you could switch over to manual and then adjust from there. So, you know, it's whatever you need, however you need it, whenever you need it. Uh, this dot's going to be there. It's waterproof. There's uh, O-ring seals on all the caps, all the screws. It's nitrogen purged. It's a really great optic, especially for the money. I'm really, really liking it. I'm glad I invested it. I'm probably going to pick up another one for the AK. They sell another one that has the low, the low mount, which is basically just this without uh, the riser in the middle attached to the bottom of the optic. And it would go on, say, like an Ultimac rail or something of that sort. And uh, I'm just really impressed with this. In hand, the quality definitely comes through. The fit and finish is impeccable. And for such a great price, I'm really amazed. I'm, I'm really blown away. I can't wait to get this on my rifle and take it to the range, sight it in, 
and uh, start using it because this will definitely be a part of my home defense, part of my life and liberty stash of firearms. And uh, you could definitely use this hunting. I mean, some people are going to say, oh, no, you know, it's not a go to war. It's not a go to war scope or uh, dot. You know, I wouldn't trust my life to it. Um, and I haven't used it. I haven't put it through any tests. But from what I'm seeing and, f and from what I've already seen in other other guys videos, I would trust my life to this. It seems very, very high quality. Seems like it'll hold up to a lot of abuse. And, you know, for the money, you could buy three of these things, you know, for, you know, the same price as an EOTech, which has recalls or, you know, an aim point. Aim points are great. That's really what you want. But for less than a third of the price and you can have almost the same thing, you know, for the most part, as far as, you know, the size, the fact that it's a red dot adjustability you know you're really losing maybe some of the durability and uh, definitely battery life but other than that you know you got a common cell battery i really like that and the mount comes with it you don't have to go spend 20 30 50 bucks on a piece of aluminum to mount it it comes right out of the box with the mount and with this specific mount on mil spec standard front and rear height front and rear sight heights it provides you a lower one-third co-witness, which in my opinion, that's what you want. You don't want a true co-witness. Um, that I might explain in a later video. I purchased a whiteboard to be able to uh, explain some things, draw some things out, uh, do some more conversation videos, um, explanation videos, that kind of thing. So maybe I'll get into that in a later video. But the mount that it comes with provides you a lower one-third. And I think everything about this optic... Everything about the company, Spikes Tactical, and uh, everything about the price that you pay is just absolutely perfection. It's great. I'm super thrilled. I'm super stoked about this. I can't wait to get it on the rifle. And uh, that's that.